beginning. You'll never believe what we have just discovered. We found an eel-tailed catfish, one of Australia's weirdest underwater creatures. You can tell it's an eel-tailed catfish because of that distinctive eel tail. And it's got these barbels on its mouth, which look like whiskers, which is where it gets the name catfish. A catfish is basically one big tongue. It has taste receptors all over its body, but it'll use those barbels to map out its environment when it's a really murky river and it can't see very well. And it'll try and find prey with them. And what we found is a catfish's nest. And to make a nest, these catfish will spend weeks clearing out a big circle in the river. They'll get all the debris and leaves and sticks and rocks out of the way, and they'll make a nice, smooth, uh, sunken in circle and then they'll put little pebbles all around the river into their uh, nest that they've made. The female will come along, lay her eggs in the middle there, and then the male will fertilize the eggs. When they're babies, they'll use those little pebbles to hide in from any prey that might come along and try and, try and eat them. Uh, but then when they grow up a bit more, they don't need the protection of the circle anymore and they'll go off and make their own lives somewhere in the river. This is a particularly healthy, fully grown eel tail catfish here. You can see them guarding their nest. What an amazing creature. Let's get a good look at this eel tail catfish from underwater. Some people think they're an ugly fish, but I think they're beautiful. You can see this one's no doubt had a few battles in their time by those chunks missing out of their fins. Now you can see their mouth sort of faces down, so they're going to be good at eating anything hiding in the rocks or on the bottom of the creek. It's unlikely that they'll swim up to the surface and have a go at insects. However, if any insects come down or they feel there's an opportunity there, they will go for them. But they'll go for little fish, but mainly crustaceans, little fish that are hiding in the rocks, that's what they'll eat. And they can live for quite a while. It's not uncommon for them to live up to 10 years. And you can see this one's guarding their nest. Now it'll take them about two weeks to make their nest. And then uh, the female will come along. And if she's impressed with that nest, then she'll breed with this male. And he'll look after the nest to make sure no other predators come and get in there. You can see it's a pretty big nest, and these are pretty big catfish. They can get up to 50 centimeters long and weigh a few kilograms. They also have a spike on their fins, so you don't want to be handling these fish because that spike is venomous and it will really hurt if you get spiked by them.